Happy Saturday, folks. Thanks for joining us here on Valley News Live at 10 o'clock. A live look at our Luther Family Ford Skycam shows still some wet pavement there on the uh, dealership parking lot there and some water on some of those vehicles also. So still seeing some moisture that has just moved through the Fargo-Moorhead area and still seeing a few scattered showers and a few thunderstorms still at this time as well. 67 right now at Fargo's airport, 66 across the river in Moorhead. Notice that dew point there, 65 degrees, so plenty of humidity in the air. 93% that relative humidity. Let's dive into the radar. I'll show you where things are really going on. So up in the Devil's Lake Basin, we are seeing a few spotty showers just outside Devil's Lake and one heading toward the Grafton area. Not seeing much lightning uh, in this location at this time, but it's just some light showers there for our friends in the Devil's Lake Basin. Down toward Valley City, the Edgeley areas up toward Ellendale, seeing some more light to moderate rain showers. These are moving eastward south of Lisbon toward the Lidgerwood area, also seeing a little shower heading toward you as well. No lightning detected in those little showers either. Where we are seeing some lightning is in the Park Rapids and Detroit Lakes areas where some uh, moderate intensity rainfall is moving into Detroit Lakes as we speak with a few rumbles of thunder there. So just some more good soaking showers, not severe, but may hear some rumbles of thunder there if you are uh, in out the lakes at this hour. Joining us on Valley News Live from Becker County. Uh, toward the south, have seen a lot of active weather in the Minnesota Iowa state line area. This is near Sioux Falls. A lot of flash flood warnings there from storms that were dumping copious amounts of moisture in that area near Worthington and outside Sioux Falls. So uh, keeping our eyes on that this evening as well. Temperatures lower 60s there in Langdon, 67 right now in Grand Forks and Thief River Falls, 66 in Valley City and in Sisseton. So the hour by hour for the rest of the night shows most of that activity. As we continue through this evening, does look to wane and exit off toward the east by midnight. Still could see a few straggling showers or thunder showers on the North Dakota side, but I do expect most of that intense rainfall to be in our extreme far eastern counties and then moving out after the midnight hour. Quiet conditions take hold for the overnight 50s to wake up on our Sunday. And that's about all I've got for you. Clear skies, quiet conditions for the lunchtime hour, 60s for most everybody. The northwest wind, though, around 10 to 15 miles per hour in the morning, picks up to about 10 to 20 miles per hour out of the northwest in the afternoon. Notice by 4 o'clock, 60s up toward the north, 70s elsewhere. May see a few rogue 80s on some backyard thermometers in our uh, uh, southern North Dakota neighborhoods by the 4 o'clock hour. And also, Notice those yellows there, some cooler air up there, some clouds, maybe a few spotty showers up there in northern Minnesota tomorrow afternoon. But by and large, if you have a tea time anywhere across our viewing area, conditions look just fine for that. Here's how things look in Fargo, starting off, of course, with those temperatures near 60. Notice the west wind there around 10 to 15, becoming northwesterly as we advance into the afternoon around 10 to 20 miles per hour. But plenty of sunshine for us in Fargo with those middle 70s for those highs on our Sunday. We stay in the 70s to low 80s for Monday and Tuesday. Plenty of sunshine for the first two days of the next business week. Wednesday, another system comes through. Nishé could be some spotty storms on Wednesday, but that cools us back down into the lower 70s to round out next week. Well, we'll enjoy the cool down. Exactly. All right, thank you so much. Yeah.